um, most of business and other things all sort of in, in the culture as a, at large tends to think about that everything is really only broken into two sections, the complicated and the clear, right? And people who think in complex ways, we typically give them like mythological status like Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the fact is, is um, what we do is very complex. So, um, you know, so uh, so the idea then is that when you're experimenting, like you'll see in the in the, in the one version of the the document uh, that I have here, it's got some funny characters in it. Um, you know, these guys all have white hats <laughs> trying to figure out what's happening, right? Um, and then what they do is then they come into the realm of the expert, which is the realm of the complicated, and go into and what they're carrying with them is a set of constraints. So there are two kinds of constraints or governing constraints and enabling constraints. The point of the governing constraint is to bring it across here and then it never really leaves the complicated or the clear domain, right? But if you create a... Uh, an enabling constraint, what that'll allow you to do is give you a pathway back into the complex when what you're doing in the complicated is insufficient for the task. So, you know, um, and then, of course, you know, then what the expert's job is is to go up this ladder with modeling, right, which is we do a lot of that, right, and create, you know, like a production line kind of thing. And then we automate things. And so the thing is, is typically what, the way people think about this is let's go into our lab, experiment, we'll come up with a governing constraint, we'll assemble a group of experts whose entire job is to do nothing but modeling and hope that it works for everyone. Um, but then when it doesn't, what happens is that s top of that surface is too small and it kicks people off and they, <laughs> they end up falling into the chaotic and it creates a problem for them, right? So, um, yeah, so going one direction versus going another direction has certain kinds of meanings and so on, like you can see uh, over here, right? Depending on which direction you go. Um, but yeah, sorry to derail your SWOT analysis thing, but no, no, no worries, you you know. It's it's great that you that you share this. Uh, yeah, I think you, you I've seen it before. I, I think mm -hmm. it's it's a great way to to see things and to to analyze like the different problems that we are facing. Yeah. I think that's well, what yeah, this decision making framework that should really be like okay, so what is this problem? How are we going to approach it? What's the action mode we're going to take? Whereas a SWOT analysis is a little bit like, hey, things have been going on for a long time. Maybe things have been running under the surface for a while. Let's do a SWOT analysis. You know what I mean? So yeah, but so I think it's a bit more of a retrospective and more appropriate maybe for us. You know, we've been here for a couple of years now doing this. So. I, I agree with your assessment in terms of what tool. So I just wanted to compare and contrast the two. Yeah, no, that that that's great. Yeah, I, I think I just shared the, the screen with you guys. Uh, I just think it would be great, you know, like I feel maybe SWOT analysis is uh, some type of analysis that people kind of heard before about and it's kind of like pretty straightforward and easy to understand, you know? So. Like my intention was basically, uh, I see that there's some people already in the board. Is that maybe Eugene and Irene and Durgedas? I yeah, I have it open. Yeah. yeah, I have it open as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, so basically, um, my idea is that we could go like take some time here, maybe in in the red section, like for strengths. Maybe you guys can type your name. Use just like one of the one of the block of notes. Type your name at, at the at the top, <clears throat> and then I guess maybe we can take I don't know five to ten minutes maybe, and we can write down the different strengths that we see the TEC has. You know what I mean is like you know I've heard a lot that the culture that we've been building throughout these months, it's one of the biggest strengths. So, you know, that, that could be something, but um, 
basically anything and everything that you think about is is something that um, is bringing a strength to the TC. We could we could just write it down and 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 yeah, that that's basically the idea. So I don't know if you guys have made a SWOT analysis before. Probably Durga does you yes, but I don't know if Gina and Irene are you familiar with it. Not explicitly, no. But I, I, I know uh, Kojak or Jose Anthony. He's a brilliant man, so I'm interested to see what. Uh, I, and I read some of your points in the Google Doc, and they're they're excellent. Okay, perfect. Well, then, then you, uh, you, I, I guess you understand kind of like the the idea, right, of the of the dynamic. Um, what about you, Irene? You you understand the what is this about? Yes, I, I have done this type of analysis. Uh, I don't have it in my memory, the steps, but yeah, I know. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so we might, I guess, just take like five minutes if you guys want. Just write everything that comes to your mind about the strengths of the TC, and then we can maybe just talk about them a little more, if that sounds good. Sure. I only have view access. Do you um, know how to grant edit access? Oh, okay. Let me see. This is actually the first time I I do a, a Figma board, so yeah, I, I wouldn't know how to how to do it either. So. <laughs> Let me see. I will just point out that. Um... The template that I use is um, from HubSpot, and um, it. Uh, I'm just going to paste the, the. They actually have a nice description about, um, you know, what it all means and how to go about doing it, and you know, so uh, HubSpot, you you can learn an awful lot just by reading their blog. So this is an excellent blog post by them. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where the Google Doc is that you're referring to. Maybe you're all that same stuff, but I just wanted to show you. The, yeah, the, I, I can forward you. Yeah, I can forward you that that one. Uh, yeah, thank in you. a moment. Yeah, I'm struggling a little bit. Just give me a second, guys. Sorry. I think Irene, you should be able to edit now if you want to double check. Uh, Gene, I think you should be good as well. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Yeah, sorry, I say. <laughs> okay, so if you guys are good, Durgadas, are you are you in? 
Are you? Do you want to participate? Um. Well, I don't know if you're aware, but I, I just came off a 30-day water fast, and right now it's feeding time. So. Oh yeah, no worries. I have the. It's uh. Yeah, I'm just you know, sleeping a bunch extra, and that's why I slept in you know, today, and and so. No worries. Yeah, I'm just okay, really, totally. really tired. <laughs> so I apologize if I. It's nothing personal. You know, it's just. Hard yeah, no worries. Than you think. So thanks. Yeah. Okay, so maybe let's take, you know, five minutes if you guys want to start thinking about anything that comes to your mind, any strengths that you see in the TC, the people, the projects, the vision, I don't know, whatever you can think about. Still, it would be nice to have editing uh, ability. Oh, yeah. Of course, let me... I think you should be good, Durgas. Thank you.
I lost my uh, edit access somehow there when uh, when you granted it to a dirty Oh mask. yeah. Me too. Oh really? Uh, <laughs> wow. Let me see. <laughs> it changed back to view mode. I don't know why, but mm. you should be good now. Yes, thank you. Yeah, sorry for that, guys. How are you guys doing? Do you need maybe some more time? I'm okay. Eugene, you're good? Sorry. I think I have a decent, decent list. I'm Perfect. good. Okay. Durgas, would you like to take some minutes about something or maybe? If we start the I'm conversation, I'm just going to do, can, do you my can. part, you know, quickly. But uh, you know, I've got some ideas. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just heating some stuff up for eating. And uh, okay, yeah, no worries. Sounds good. I, I'd hope for a bit more of a passive meeting to attend here, but <laughs> just yeah. for now that way. <laughs> Thank you. All good. All good. Uh, so, Jean, maybe would you like to um, would you like to read out loud like all the different um, post-its? Sure thing, sir. Uh, so, the first point would be the background support from senior token engineers like uh, Dr. McConaughey and Dr. Zarkum. Strong cultural layer. Uh, UVs help so much produce uh, the potential application of the ABC, even though I have a, a couple, like a, a qualifier there and that doesn't seem like we applied it to the fullest extent. Uh, ostensible willingness to begin uh, to being open to new thinking, same kind of qualifier because there's been somewhat of a rigidity, but I'll, I'll bring those up in weaknesses <laughs> and uh, partnerships with other strong partners like TEA, Gravity, Block Science, Long Tail Financial, etc. So if, if you want to read like everyone's, everyone else's post-its, that would be great. Sure, cool. Uh, are you any listed participation of same actors in different working groups brings connection? Culture permeates strongly as a container that invites everyone who comes in to sync with it. Walking the talking. Depth of exploration in the topics. Amplitude of knowledge in many areas. Allows collective intelligence to emerge. And values-oriented integrity. Bear has listed culture, the TE infrastructure, i.e. the ABC, uh, committed contributors, experienced contributors, funding with no external attachments, good one, ability to iterate, modify, and adapt. We'll come back to Dergadis and let him work on his. Awesome. Yeah. Maybe if, in the meantime, if Eugene and maybe then Irene, would you like to, to say something about what we just heard? Some, like, comments?
like uh, Arini's kind of central theme in in uh, the kind of depth of character that many of the participants have, um, and that they they bring the connections between the the working groups, uh, and that they you know, walk the talk, and um, that the that kind of unity allows a collective intelligence to emerge. I, I really like those points. And same with your spare the I really like that point about funding with no external attachments. Sometimes we forget that that's that that's a, a really uh, Im important point to to remember and be aware of that uh, we, even though uh, there were some large token holders um, they don't have the same type of control over the project like a uh, venture capitalist would explicitly so that's um, something like a, a freedom that we enjoy that other groups may not. Nice. Irene, would you like to say something? Yes, I want to mention that um, uh, what Jean wrote about partnerships and what uh, Bear wrote about the the funding. It brings me to the strength of uh, there's not only relationships and on support, but there is also a lot of people that like the project and uh, believe in it and uh, they want to support it even morally. And uh, so it's a uh, different layers of external support. Nice. That's really good. Uh, and yeah, for me, yeah, it's it's also interesting that, for example, something that the the three of us, even the four of us, now that I see Derek us, we agree, for example, on the culture part, right? That's again, I think that that would be probably one of the biggest strengths of the of the TCN, and I think that's super important because if you think about the like the traditional type of organizations. They usually do it the other way around, right? They start with focusing on money, on profits, and then if 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 they have the time, if they have the energy, if they actually want to do it, then they start investing a little bit on, on the culture of the organization, right? We have, I think, that great strength that we did it the other way around. I think we we have built a really really strong cultural base, and now it's just a matter of weaving it into better financial practices to actually make it sustainable right so but yeah i just think it's it's a it's a pretty pretty strong one um so durga would you would you like to read yours and maybe comment on what you've heard so far if you if you're ready or yeah um we yeah i have a bit of a philosophy about this thing and and especially if you Business. But anytime in gravity, <laughs> you kind of see that <laughs> um, <laughs> there is this kind of thing that happens where people will make this amazing technology and they'll create a group of people and then, you know, they'll release a token, it shoots up to who knows what, and then and then um, one guy will finally say that thing he's been meaning to say that, you know, the 12 people that most significantly contributed I hate Bob. <laughs> and so like it just blows the whole DAO up and their, their token <laughs> price just tanks and you know and so then suddenly gravity's involved <laughs> because they never bother to put in place any conflict management or you know, I, I've seen another one where they had beautiful trauma and foreign practices and everything, but they didn't have conflict resolution <laughs> mechanisms, so they were all there dealing with their trauma and intersectionality and all these different things, but they still, even with all that, couldn't resolve conflict. So, you know, so yeah, you're you're right. The, the culture is the bedrock on which the, the token price sits, you know, but um, uh, yeah, I, I feel like we've also got really a really vast uh, economic and, and crypto competence here in addition to, you know, that sort of foundationally um, awesome culture. Um, so yeah, the, I, I think it's specifically the, the culture of, of the commons, right? 
that because it was started by the, the you know common stack and there's a kind of pervasiveness and so because the commons is allowed then all of this other beauty has been able to sort of grow up around it if you know what i mean like the pearl in, in the shell um and then you know it's also nice to see people who aren't afraid of the complex because making a commons culture is just inherently complex and there's just nothing you can do about that right so um and you know uh, and even so you know culturally it's um still have to work on increasing people's complexity tolerance but it's a pretty high complexity tolerance just by default here which is very amazing um and what's cool about that is uh people who are used to thinking like that in the technology wise when you give them that cultural build time you give them enough time they're like oh yeah that's you know okay programming languages and having a shared language with which to discuss cultural things is actually we have to spend time with both of those and that's amazing so um and then uh and then based on i think what uh bear was saying you know ability to iterate modify and adapt i made an entire graphic about that talking about how we can use similar processes but also evolutionary you know processes and processes that not only use governing constraints where we know everything uh, but also open-ended um you know constraints everywhere um also uh, you know enabling constraints so um so that you know and and actually i've participated in DAOs and other things where you know it that that's not good and there isn't good moderation there isn't these things and it's actually the reason why i made the graphic was because i had become so used to working in such a beautiful um, sort of uh, open-ended setup and then um yeah, we just have a really, as a result of all of this, I'm saying we have a very healthy diaspora of um, contributors and, and um, you know, being friendly, open and accepting across working groups, um, you know, really contributes to that, even if what we're doing is, is very complex. So thank you. Yeah, no, that's great, Irgilas. Thank you. Uh, so for the, for the time that we have left, 20 minutes more, uh, I'm thinking that maybe we can finish the weaknesses, opportunities, and threats like in a row, like all together, and then the time we have left, we can take it to discuss like the most important points that we want to talk about. Does that sound like a good plan? Maybe take five, sorry, five minutes in weaknesses, five minutes in opportunities, and five minutes in, in threats. Does that sound good? That's fine. Sure. Perfect. And if you guys, well, we can start with weaknesses, but then if you guys have any, any questions, furthermore, just like let me know. And I'll just start, start the timer now.
How are you guys doing? We'll give it one more minute. Oh yeah, I see Jim that he jumped already for opportunities. Yeah, that, I think that's great. Yes, yeah, so if you maybe we can take uh, all the way to to fifty five to finish everything, and you guys can take your your time to to assign on each section.
How are you guys doing? Pretty well set. Yeah, I think it can be just like this. Okay. Yeah, so maybe we can read everything. Um, you guys have access to this document, right? So if you want to keep adding more stuff, that'd be great, and you're you're welcome to do so. So, uh, Irene, would you like to maybe start reading like all the weaknesses? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh... Okay. Witnesses. Lack of active token engineer participation. Lack of token utility design from the outset. Rigidity of culture. Lack of mobility of stewards. Uh, need of better documentation of what is needed uh, in different dimensions and timelines. Uh, more uh, needs more interoperability between working groups. It needs more sources of financial resources. And it needs more visibility of the framework uh, regarding work, organization, etc. Better accountability systems, income generation, TE infrastructure not used as at its full potential, not having better spending controls, better coordination within working groups and between working groups, clear roadmap of what the TEC is doing for the next one to three years aligned to its vision, Pure, poor internal narratives result in poor in external narrative communication, particularly with regard to the culture we have built that people have to discover when they come rather than us, us promoting it. Denial of legacy cultural and social patterns. Legacy thought patterns from the abusive, extractive, colonized systems remain. Not enough token engineers are attending the cultural and shared language communication trainings, revealing a, befo a bifurcation between the cultural and technical aspects of TAC. Not really a DAO, as power remains too concentrated in a few people, especially in terms of token holdership. Not enough stewards are either. Are you going to add something more, David? Uh, oh, I, I was kind of referring to the one above, sorry. <laughs> so, okay. uh, yeah, not only enough token engineers, but also not enough stewards come to the you know, uh, okay. structures, okay. deep democracy things. So and they're the ones yeah. that need the most. <laughs> yeah. That's great, Irene. Thank you so much. Um Durgelas, would you like to read the opportunities? Sorry, or I'm in a highly distracted uh, space yeah. here. So maybe maybe it's not good to call on me. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Yeah. I'm doing want. what I can to kind of make that happen, but <laughs> no, that's great. That's appreciated. <laughs> I can I can read it. So for Gene is chance to implement innovative utility, good time to build new structures, chance to find new revenues by managing treasury to produce extra yield, emerging services economy, 
TEA fundamentals will bring new talent, new TE talent into the fold. Um, Irene, use TE to address the weaknesses. Add more dynamics that bring the practice of what it wants to do outside into the inside as living example. Build a common ecosystem in different spheres, educational, financial, capital, cultural. Support more common projects. Um, full potential of ABC and talking engineering technologies. Having an impact not just in the Web3 space, but also in the real world. Partnerships and coordination with other DAOs, uh, pioneering in the token engineering field, funded projects like a proposal inverter, TE Academy, CatCat, and the Prey system, serving as an example for other DAOs in terms of coordination and organizational structure. Um, we can try cutting edge stuff like sociocracy, deep democracy, liberating structures non-violent communication, etc. We should create some kind of MBE, minimum viable engineer status for TEs that would require participation in both technical and cultural aspects to achieve. Okay, and just because we already ran out of time, I'll just read the threads real quickly. Um, Gene, uh, bear market has impacted token price and contributors' enthusiasm. Potential looming recession to compound the bear market. Significant inherent risk in managing the treasury and moving any funds from the common pool. New membership is thinning in response to the lack of overall enthusiasm in the field. Culture may not be adaptable enough to respond to new threats. Uh, security, depending on grants depending on the first layer of collaborators to continue the same culture, not linking Web3 activities to real-life activity, thinking about the international, economical, and political context, uh, talent leaving the DAO, recession, bear markets, whales, concentration of, of power, and rewards. Perfect. Yeah, so... I think that that would be it. Again, if you guys want to keep adding stuff, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, and yeah, I think I think we're good for now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It was great. <laughs> I, I think it was super useful exercise, and I'd love to see it uh, done in a wider audience. Yes. Yeah. That was the idea. Hopefully, we can. Mm -hmm. We can maybe add some more people to do it. Uh, I'll try to do that. And <laughs> yeah, my just plan keep is plugging at it. It yes. took me for four weeks to get decent attendance at the Gravity Dow website meeting. So just oh yeah, definitely. I, can... it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I get you, yeah. And and hopefully I'll try to make maybe one final document with every all of these like compiled into that document yeah. so we can see yeah. what can come up from that. Yeah, some and really just... good uh, observations from there. So, so yeah, yeah. I think it was interesting. Hopefully you guys found it useful as well and. And let's see what can come up from this. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Same, bye.